Back in the turn of the century, in the 20s and the 30s, America was the leader in solar water. Uh, there was huge installed capacity in uh, LA, in Miami, even in Baltimore, uh, where one of the uh, a solar water heater called the Climax was, was invented uh, in 1920. But this is the solar water heater, and um, it is currently pumping away. It is uh, producing a lot of heat right now. We have direct sunlight, no, no clouds. It's the Sunbank solar water heater. It has 20 evacuated tubes that are absorbing 96% of the available sunlight that hits it and uh, turning it directly into heat in the water tank. So, These systems are pressurized, and, uh, which means that they don't use any electricity. There's no pumps. They just use the, the well pressure or the municipal water pressure. I just started doing some research um, which culminated in a trip to China this past uh, February. And, um, and with, I, I did a couple um, tweaks to the design um, to kind of make it my own. The significance of the vacuum is that the heat enters, uh, the sunlight enters and, and, and is converted into heat, and the, um, but it can't escape because of the vacuum. So it's like a thermos mug that you have your coffee in. It's cool to the touch on the outside, and this can be, this can be um, you know, 300 degrees inside and be cool to the touch on the outside because no heat is getting back out. If you go to a place that has solar water heaters everywhere, it just becomes a part of the landscape. And, and it's, it's beautiful if you consider its function, I think. And solar water really is misunderstood. It's, it doesn't create electricity. So the big thing when people hear solar is they think, okay, they think of, PV, solar panels, and they think this is gonna, how much electricity will this create? Um, what solar water does is offsets the use of electricity, which is just as good, uh, it just does it a lot more efficiently and at a lot lower cost. My main uh, marketing thrust is going to be uh, towards businesses, so commercial applications. So think laundromats, um, hospitals, hotels, restaurants. Um, there's a lot of businesses that are really hot water intensive so yeah, off the grid is a great is a great application. You know, uh, I'll be looking at state parks and national parks um, because they have showers oftentimes and they're usually quite a ways from from the grid. My competition, you know, is, is traditional solar uh, traditional water heaters and then um, other solar water heaters, which cost about four to six times as much as as the Sunbank. So I'll be undercutting the competition in a serious way, so it's gonna be interesting to see.